Researchers in the U.S. are first to show how a melting ice disk can quickly propel itself across a patterned surface in a manner reminiscent of the Leiden frost effect. Jonathan Bareko and colleagues at Virginia Tech demonstrated how the disks can suddenly slingshot themselves along herringbone channels when a small amount of heat is applied. The Leiden frost effect is a classic physics experiment whereby a liquid droplet levitates above a hot surface, buoyed by vapor streaming from the bottom of the droplet. In 2022, Bareko's team extended the effect to a disk of ice. This three-phase Leidenfrost effect requires a much hotter surface because the ice must first melt to liquid, which then evaporates. The team also noticed that the ice disks can propel themselves in specific directions across an asymmetrically patterned surface. This ratcheting effect also occurs with Leidenfrost droplets and is related to the asymmetric emission of vapor. Quite separately we found out about a really interesting natural phenomenon at Death Valley in California, where boulders slowly move across the desert, Bareko adds. It turns out this happens because they are sitting on thin rafts of ice which the wind can then push over the underlying meltwater. In their latest study, Bareko's team considered how these two effects could be combined, allowing ice disks to propel themselves across cooler surfaces like the Death Valley boulders, but without any need for external forces like the wind. They patterned a surface with a network of V-shaped herringbone channels, each branching off at an angle from a central channel. At first, meltwater formed an even ring around the disk, but as the channels directed its subsequent flow, the ice began to move in the same direction. For the Leiden Frost droplet ratchets they have to heat the surface way above the boiling point of the liquid, Bareko explains. In contrast, for melting ice disks, any temperature above freezing will cause the ice to melt and then move along with the meltwater. The speed of the disk's movement depended on how easily water spreads out onto the herringbone channels. When etched onto bare aluminium, the channels were hydrophilic encouraging meltwater to flow along them. Predictably, since liquid water is far more dense and viscous than vapor, this effect unfolded far more slowly than the three-phase Leidenfrost effect demonstrated in the team's previous experiment. Yet as Bareko describes, a much more surprising result was when we tried spraying a water-repellent coating over the surface structure. While preventing meltwater from flowing quickly through the channels, this coating roughened the surface with nanostructures, which initially locked the ice disk in place as it rested on the ridges between the channels. As the ice melted, the ring of meltwater partially filled the channels beneath the disk. Gradually, however, the ratcheted surface directed more water to accumulate in front of the disk, introducing a Laplace pressure difference between both sides of the disk. When this pressure difference is strong enough, the ice suddenly dislodges from the surface. As the meltwater preferentially escaped on one side, it created a surface tension force that slingshotted the ice at a dramatically higher speed, Bareko describes. Applications of the new effect include surfaces could be de-iced with just a small amount of heating. Alternatively, energy could be harvested from ice disk motion. It could also be used to propel large objects across a surface, says Bareko. It turns out that whenever you have more liquid on the front side of an object and less on the back side, it creates a surface tension force that can be dramatic.